Hey, welcome to my video on uploading a, no, a file via Node.js to a server, uh, to an S3 bucket via a server. Sorry, that was like kind of a stumble there. But um, today I'm going to show you how to upload to S3. Um, so if you take a look at my screen, I have this repository here. I've included a link down in the description that I've, I've been using all my videos on. I have lots of videos on S3, so just take a look at my channel. Um, while you're there, please subscribe. And so if you can see, it gives you a screen screenshots a step by step on how to upload to S3, uh, how to set up an S3 bucket with uh, proper permissions. This is an end-to-end -end tutorial, so I'm going to actually set it up, upload a file, and then actually um, download the file again. So getting started, I also have this script here, I'll also include it. This is what I'm basing most of my stuff on. Um, this is the entire script that you need to upload with. And last, this is my starting point. I've started. I have another video on file upload that also came out today. I also have another video on that came out last week about getting started with Mern. So this is the boilerplate code I always start with. I've decided to use it because it's a good starting point. It comes with um, everything needed, fully um, basic functioning um, React application with the back end and Mongo all set up. So watch my file upload video because I'm actually just going to start right away with that code. It's right here. Um, all I've done, as you can see with my um, git, um, I've added these three libraries, busboy, busboy, body parser, connect, busboy. In the server.js file, I've added this line here, app use busboy, and app use bo busboy body parser. I've added another file called upload.js, and the contents are this, which is just the file upload. As you can see in my previous video, I've Done, successfully done the file upload. Here's the file image 3439, image 3439. Where's that file? And so all of this, as you can tell, is the exact same as this gist here. I just took it, I just took out the S3 part, and then I showed a file upload tutorial. Now, the next step of that tutorial is to show you the AWS upload. I'm also going to show you how to set it up. So, getting started, we're going to start with setting up the Amazon S3 bucket. So sign into your AWS console. You're gonna have to open up S3. You also have to gonna have to open up I I I A M I M. Yes. You can go under services, storage is where S3 sits, and security is where I am sits. I really shouldn't learn which what what it's what it is. And so what you'll do first do is hit create uh, bucket. I'm literally following this tutorial. I hit these screenshots. Um, I'm gonna go with. Ohio, <clears throat> and I'm gonna give it a name. Node. Oh, you can't use that. N to end. Oh, okay. So no one ha has it. It has to be completely unique. By the time you're watching this video, I've probably deleted um, my this bucket, so it won't work. But as you can see, now I have node end to end bucket with all dashes between it, and it's been created. And the next set of so it's been created. As the next set. Of, um, next set of images is me just testing and upload and showing that you get access denied and showing you how to make it public but that's not what we really want we want to use the i the we want to access it programmatically so what we're going to do is scroll down to our i am user hit users on the left side hit add user say node end to end user programming access hit next permissions you probably want something open to record this. I'm going to use this README. Uh, hit next. Hit create users. This is my access ID. And this is my secret. Oh, see, last time I did this, I got uh, one without any special characters. It's the first time ever uh, I got the, a lot of special characters in this one. Anyways, that's my secret key. And my user is currently created. I just click on them. And so what we have to do now is set up the proper uh, course permissions as well as the proper policy permissions on both the user and the bucket. So as you can see, I'm I'm going to use this Arn on the top here. But as long as you have it open in two different tabs, it's fine. Um, so we're going to copy and paste this, which is the bucket policies. We're going to under uh, permissions bucket policies. I'm going to paste it right in there. I'm 
I grab this, or iron, the whole thing. And as you can see, I have iron sample user. And you replace that with this. And then you grab iron and your bucket name. And you replace this here, resource. And you hit save. And your bucket policies are all set up. The last thing you have to do is actually set up your cores on the bucket. <coughs> Excuse me. Cores, save, and save that. Next, we have to set up the permissions on the actual user so he can uh, he or she could actually access this pro computer so it can actually access the bucket. And here are those policies here. And we say, and you can be more specific, but we create a custom inline policy. Tem, and to end. And give it any name. And it's a pretty loosely typed policy, so I'd be careful with those programming keys. Um, in terms of it can access any resource, you can switch this to be the specific bucket and you can validate it, but I'm going to just make it any anything because I'm going to remove it. So now that I have both, um, that's all set up, and then the, the rest of this the, the screenshots just goes, shows, goes through and shows you how to do it with Python, how to do a file upload using Python. But now we're going to do it with, with uh, Node. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so we have these three constants. I should actually start by doing this. You're going to need the Amazon SDK. It's provided by Amazon, so do an npm install AWS SDK. If you want to get to where I am, download the Merm boilerplate, follow the file upload video, and then return here. So just pause the video here and then come back. I'm just going to do an npm install AWS SDK dash s save. I'm gonna copy this, not into the README. So I need it to be in the. I'm gonna copy these three elements, which are all constants, and should be kept secret. And then I'm gonna copy this. Add it in right here. Um, I think I left this in here because I didn't actually. I don't think it actually belongs in there, but I just left it in there. And this will actually never return anything, but it will return. So, uh, so the file has a, uh, as you can see from my previous one, it has a name, which will be our key, and then the data goes right into the body. And then we'll be over. It's it's done. It's uploaded. So, I mean, that's all it takes. And then we have the proper things installed. Okay. Um, the last thing is to just add the uh, programming access keys and the bucket name. Uh, this is the I am user key. This is the secret. And the bucket name is node end to end, and it is in the URL. So our first thing is just going to be getting a file up there. And if I can open up the right thing, uh, and then I'm going to run npm run to start dev, which runs the server. In my previous file upload, I have this all set up here where it has passes an example text. I'm not actually doing anything with the example one. I also have the image being passed in and it's going to API upload there. And I hit send. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It actually will never have a response. I did not include a response, which is not good. You should probably include one. Okay, so that. The file's uploaded. Upload finished. It's probably just a little delay. And there's my image. It's 5.3 megabytes. Download. I have no idea what this image is. I think it's for my trip. I can click open when it's done. And there's the image. So it's successfully uploaded. That's how you do file upload with Amazon S3. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to actually download the files, the file from our S3 bucket. Now, it's going to be very hard-coded if you want to actually do it not hard-coded, you have to save a file name, save it in the MongoDB, just take a look at the counters, 
file in this MERN. This is why I use it. It's very, very basic in terms of the starting point. And as you can tell, I am definitely referring to a file in this case. Um, I wrote all this code for myself. Um, for a project I'm working on, it's coming out soon. It's pretty exciting. Please subscribe to stay up to date. Also check out my other YouTube channel. Let's upload. Create bucket. Where's the damn get? List. Get. Here it is. Okay. Um, so we don't actually have to change very much from this, except we don't need any a lot of the additional stuff, so we don't need the busboy stuff, because we're not actually uploading a file. We don't even need parameters, to be honest, but we can keep them in there, because they won't be used. You hold command or control as you click, it allows you to multi-click. Just fixing my indenting. Don't need any of this. And this will be API, I don't know, upload slash get, I guess, would be better. This will just retrieve the file we just uploaded. And it's stored under the name of image JPEG there. So what you would typically do is you would do a, a um, server query in terms of you would uh, save the, the key in your, in your database and then you would ref check the database, pull up the key, and then pull it down from there, but we're going to hard code it just because I don't need to set up the whole database to show you this. Um, okay, so what we need to use is get object, and we don't need body because that's just all the all the content from the file, and that's all we need. So let's try that, and this should actually be a get. The last thing we want to do is actually print out. We want to be able to download the file through our internet browser. So we want to do this, which is going to download it. And it's going to be attachment, file name equals, and then we want to put the file button. This is where you'd insert the key or whatever it is, but we know what it is. So it's going to be hard coded. But if you're pulling it from database, put it in there properly. And then content length. Uh, data. Content. When you see the console printout, you'll see the data length is an option. And then res. End. And that's going to be data.body. And this is a get so we can get it in our internet browser. We don't need to do a post. Other than that. Again, I've actually never ran any of this code, and this is I'm, I'm writing it right on the spot, so. Sure, let me do a look at this. So, localhost 880 slash API slash upload slash get. So, okay, so it, it's returned it, as you can see, it has body and content type and length. I'm just trying to figure out why it hasn't downloaded. Content length. Content deposition, that's all correct. Uh, oh. Capital B, not lowercase b. It's gonna hold, do the whole reload. And refresh that. And I've already have downloaded the file once, but as you can see, the file is there and it's downloaded. So thank you for watching my end-to-end -end tutorial on Node. 
If you like this video, please like it. If you have any questions, please add them to the comments. And please subscribe because I have a new video, new two videos every single Wednesday. Thanks. Oh, see this crack? Oh, I can't fix that. Hear that sound as I open it? Oh my god, that's bad. I don't know.